Welcome to the Potion Podcast, your raw look at the hospitality industry, brought to you by SHC. I wanted to touch on something, delve a little bit deeper into something I posted on social media this week. Um, I posted about um, not letting yourself get pigeonholed. And really, it came back as, um, it got a lot of great response and I'm really happy that it did because it was something that was really frustrating me at the end of last week. Purely not because of anybody else, but like just the sort of mentalities that I sort of face. Um, there are a number of people who still believe that in Singapore, all I did was create a cocktail menu, which is about this much of what I actually did. So um, I really wanted to really delve into it today because the last two days I've had a number of big meetings. So my typical work day, just so that everybody knows, um, is, uh, oh, what did I do this morning? I did my BC Spirit stuff, which I do every day, my BC Spirit Spirit today. If you don't see it, you're missing out. Um, then I did a quick run downtown. I crossed over with my business partner and coalition craft company, Keegan Coates, um, gave him some new sales sheets, um, some new stuff to sample on. Um, I did a delivery for both Coalition Craft Company to Vessel as well as Canadian Bar Store because I, um, I service them wholesale. So that's, that's we've already gone through two of my companies before lunch. Um, well, actually two of my companies and a passion project before lunch. Um, then I had a phone call with a possible client in Saskatoon doing a full rebrand on their restaurant uh, conceptually as well as branding. Um, my partner in Human Construct, Colin, is a big part of that. He's a super talented graphic designer. Um, and uh, he's really knocking it out of the park for the stuff that he's done. He's done Coalition Craft branding. He did BC Spirits, all the t-shirts there. We've done a couple of liquor brands now. Um, we're just sort of building, building, building. So that was in like the last 24 hours. And then I'm working on the BC Spirits cocktail book as well as Great Northern Cocktails. is going to come out with a volume two. Um, but the big projects I've got this week are big online media marketing contracts that I'm working with my company, Exemplar LM. Now, this last fucking two and a half minutes is very boisterous and very uh, narcissistic, I suppose, to a degree of like me telling you everything that I, I do. But the real thing I want to sort of nail down on this is that regardless of what I do, I can do all these things every day. I can put them up on social media. People always have this perception of uh, people always have this perception of me being the cocktail guy. Like there are people out there who assumed while I was in Singapore, all I was there for was to create a cocktail menu and train the staff. That's it. Not the HR, not the designing, not the branding. So what I really want to get down on this podcast really heavily is that people, when you get pigeonholed, it is not you pigeonholing yourself, which is what I've struggled with for a long time. When you get pigeonholed, it's other people's perceptions on what you do. And so now you can not care about people's perceptions. You can go, ah, oh, don't worry about people's opinions and whatnot, um, which is great and fantastic. And if you don't care, if you don't hear them, that's fantastic as well. But to get work and that sort of thing. So the hard thing is, is that when you, um, when you have these perceptions about you, you've got to work really, really hard to get the, out of that pigeonhole, that that cocktail bartender put pigeonhole to being like, oh, you actually know your shit about social media marketing, and oh, you actually can talk about branding and logo design and graphic design like the next person. So, my piece of advice is, if you're feeling pigeonholed, take a take a step back, look at why they're pigeonholing you that way. Then look, take three steps forward, see how you want to be seen, how you want to be perceived, and then really lean into that and understand that if you've been a cocktail bartender or a sommelier or a server or a bar manager or whatever in the hospitality industry for a long time and you're trying to get away from that, but if you're still in the hospitality industry, I think it's a little bit harder than if you get away from the industry altogether. Um, really understand that this pigeonholing isn't you. This pigeonholing is other people's perceptions on you. And really, it's everybody's going to have their own perception of you, whether it's pigeonholed or their opinion of you or if they like you or don't like you. So you can't hear them. You, that's what you, my big folk, my big thing is: is that you can't you can't hear them. You have to push past it and just keep doing what you do. And eventually, if you're good enough and you keep pushing, you be patient. You're going to under, get people to understand the new perception of you because you're going to prove yourself. But you usually have to work twice as hard 
to prove you're half as good when your new perception comes out. So that is my per shift shot for this week. Um, interesting things. Don't let yourself get pigeonholed. Figure out how to change people's perceptions um, and just keep going on, guys. Thanks for listening, Pose Shifters. I well, hope you enjoyed that episode. I really enjoy sitting down with friends and peers and uh, just chatting about the industry and getting down to the nuts and bolts of what's really going on out there. Uh, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, everything on all the platforms. Just hit it up and I'll do my best to answer any queries or questions you have. I'll see you next week, guys. Bye.